okay in this system we have to find out the overall gain of this system the overall gain will be y divided by x g so first this is a closed loop system with feedback minus h1 so corresponding to this block we will have g1 divided by 1 plus g1 h1 to this block g2 is connected in series so overall will be g1 g2 divided by 1 plus g1 h1 for this block we have for this system we have g1 g2 divided by 1 plus g1 h1 and to this system we have a unity feedback for unity feedback the closed loop system will be g1 g2 divided by 1 plus g1 h1 divided by 1 plus g1 g2 divided by 1 plus g1 h1 this will give you g1 g2 divided by 1 plus g1 h1 plus g1 g2 here we have to find out the steady state value of the steady state error ess okay gs is given the open loop transfer function so the steady state error or the laplace of a steady state error es will be laplace of input minus laplace of output xs minus ys and ys will be xs into the input into the system transfer function the closed loop transfer function closed loop transfer function ys will be input into closed loop transfer function xs is 1 by s minus 1 by s and the closed loop transfer function will be gs divided by 1 plus gs divided by 1 plus gs so es is 1 upon s into 1 minus gs divided by 1 plus gs this will be 1 upon s into 1 divided by 1 plus gs and to find out the steady state error the value of et the steady state means t tends to infinity this will be s es applying final value theorem limit s tends to 0 so s into es is this 1 upon 1 plus gs so s will be cancelled so basically we have to find out 1 divided by 1 plus gs when s tends to 0 1 divided by 1 plus gs and in gs we need to put s tends to 0 so this quantity is also called called as this is kp this is error constant for unit step this is error constant error constant for step input or this is also called the phase error constant phase error constant so for unit step the error is 1 upon 1 plus kp similarly for ramp input this will be 1 divided by kb and kb is limit s tends to 0 sgshs and kb is called velocity error constant error constant okay so we have to find out value of gs when s tends to 0 so if s tends to 0 in this equation this will make the denominator 0 and this will give you infinity so here we will have 1 upon 1 plus infinity and this will tend to 0 so the steady state error will be 0 in this question the open loop transfer function is given and the feedback is 1 means it is a unity feedback system 
this is a negative feedback so there is negative unity feedback and we have to find out the location the location of breakaway point on the root locus diagram of the system so to find out the breakaway point we will have 1 plus kgs h is equal to 0 okay if a point is on root locus 1 plus kgs h s will be 0 this equation will be satisfied and we will find k equal to minus 1 divided by gs h s so k will be minus 1 and gs h s is this is this this is KGSHS is given as this is KGSHS so K will be minus 1 divided by this will be GS S plus 2 divided by S square plus 2S plus 2 and HS equal to 1 so K will be minus of S square plus 2S plus 2 divided by S plus 2 So dk by ds, we will first equate dk by ds to 0. That means s plus 2 into differentiation of this taking minus out 2s plus 2 minus s square plus 2s plus 2 into differentiation of denominator 1. And whatever denominator is denominator is square will be 0 so this will go to 0 minus will go to 0 so here we have 2s square plus 2s 4s 6s plus 4 minus s square minus 2s minus 2 equal to 0 s square 4s plus 2 equal to 0 so we will get two values of s s equal to minus 4 plus minus b square minus 4 ac divided by 2 we will get minus 2 plus minus root 2 s1 is minus 2 plus root 2 and s2 is minus 2 minus root 2 and in the theory of root locus we have studied that whatever values of s that is s1 and s2 we are getting by equating dk by ds to 0 this is not necessary that both will be the breakaway point so to check uh, which point is the real breakaway point real means which is the actually breakaway point we will check whether out of these two point which is lying on the root locus and which is not lying on root locus so to check whether it is lying on root locus or not if a point s1 is lying on root locus then the angle of gshs at that point s will be equal to 180 degree this is one method so we have value of gshs put these two values of s and if that quantity is real negative the angle will be 180 degree if that quantity is other than anything real negative anything but not real negative that means if by putting s1 or s2 the value of gshs is positive or complex the angle will not be 180 degree and that point will not be on root locus So this is one method the another method is if you have practice of root locus we will quickly the we will quickly see the nature of root locus and by observing the nature of root locus also we can observe very easily whether out of out of these two points which is lying and which is not lying in the root locus gshs is equal to s plus 2 divided by s square plus 2s plus 2 
the location of 0 is at minus 2 this is minus 2 and the poles will be if you will equate to 0 you will get s equal to minus 1 plus minus j this is minus 1 so this is minus 1 plus minus j and this will be minus 1 this is minus 1 plus j this is minus 1 minus j now if you if we talk about this part of real axis there is no poles or zero to write off this real axis so this part will not be on root locus if you talk about this part of real axis there is one zero which is odd so we have odd number of poles and zero to the right of this section of real axis so we will say this axis will be on root locus and this axis will not be on root locus now we have two options minus 2 plus root 2 so this point minus 2 plus root 2 will certainly be right to the point minus 2 this will lie somewhere here and this is not on root locus so this point is not on root locus if we talk about this point so this point will certainly lie left to the point s equal to minus 2 and all the points which is left, left to minus 2 are on root locus so this is actually on root locus so somewhere here we will have a breakaway point so the root locus will be like okay then it will have breakaway one root will terminate to 0 and other will terminate to infinity 